we about to dig into some history. This is about to get real messy. Welcome to the 365 vlog, let's go. <laughs> so hello people, today is October 11, 2016, day 286 of the 365 vlog, and I'm gonna talk more about horror movies. Since it's Halloween and I had to talk about that crappy movie Medea, I wanted to revisit the topic of horror movies that I talked about in Medea, and that is to go over black people in horror movies. So what I did was do a short search, I just typed black people in movies, and I got 20, 20 of the best black people horror movies, and I'm gonna read them with you, and we're gonna go over the worst and the best. is isn't that long, I'm just gonna pick out the ones that stood out to me the most, and maybe contextualize them a bit. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with, what is it? Blackula from 1972. Blackula, the story of an African prince turned into a vampire by Count Dracula isn't only a seminal film in the history of African-American horror, it's also an important part of the 1970s black exploitation, which is gonna make up a majority of all the movies not a majority, but at least half of this list is going to be comprised of black exploitation films, and they are all freaking horrible. All right, so let's see. Era is being one of the first and entries into the movement. In the 1970s sequel, Scream, Blackula Scream is inferior. Good enough to be on this list to give others a shot, though we'll leave it off. So there's Blackula, which just looks like a whole mess of things. But I found one that is lower on the list. Um, what is it called? The Zebra Killer. Oh my god. All right. So listen to this one. The Zebra Killer, directed, uh, director of Abbey as well as mainstream Hollywood fare like Grizzly and Days of the Animals. I don't know what those are. I don't watch old time movies. Um, also blessed us with this unintentionally hilarious, hilarious lost thriller about a white serial killer who who throws police off by disguising himself as a black man, afro and all, hot or I would say lukewarm on his trail is police detective Frank Savage, a sort of black dirty Harry minus the common sense and ambition. All right, minus whatever this little blurb is about this movie, this whole just as a concept is just horrible, but it was created in 1964, it's called The Zebra Killer. And this just sounds like the only most racist mess. I bet there was blackface in this movie. I haven't seen it. I mean, based off of the characters, this just premise sounds racist as hell. Ah, this is disgusting. All right, so we're moving on. Uh, then we have Dr. Black and Mr. Hyde, which apparently doesn't look that bad, but it was still made in the 70s. So I'm really suspect about it for the most part. Um, it's despite this campy title, blah, blah, blah. It's a serious-minded thought. Oh, it's, I guess so, so provoking. That thought. Anyways, story reflective of its race, conscious era. Bernie Casey stares as a rep respected black doctor whose experimental cell regeneration serum turns him into a maniacal white man. Insert Michael Jackson joke here. I don't know if this is supposed to be funny, and if it's supposed to be funny, who's it supposed to be funny to? All right, moving on. These are really bad. All right, so we're looking at the rest, and there's Fight for Your Life, where, I, what is it, follows three racist convicts as they escape prison and they torture uh, a black preacher's family for a whole movie. I can see why they probably wouldn't do that, because that happens in a lot of horror movies today, and I don't think that shit would fly today a bunch of racist people going to kill a bunch of black people, that's just not gonna fly and no black people are gonna see it and it's just gonna get a lot of flack. So, yeah. But it was made in 1977. Uh, mm-mm. 1977. 70s. Racist. All right, so we're gonna get this last one and, well, the last couple, right? So Candyman, this is a classic. I remember this as a kid and it was 1992 when it came out, so I probably saw it or at least heard of it. I don't think I ever saw it. But it's basically like Black Bloody Mary, which is just a copy off of that. And the rest of the movies after 1992, all the way up to 2007, what's this? Nailed. And Twilight's Haunted House Taylor, pair of hoods, running from the cops, abandoned building, occupied, okay. It seems like towards like 2007, 
like a lot of the movies became anthologies of just like Tales of the Crypt type of spin-offs with people in the hood. And that's what these movies pretty much delve into. One have I think two of them having Snoop Dogg, but all of the top twenty end in like 2007 i don't know how far this re list reaches um i'm not gonna do like a crazy in-depth thing but i think i'm gonna wrap this up so basically what i saw from this list tw this top 20 not saying it's all encompassing i don't know if there's anything past 2007 but at least for the top 20 movies that that site could find it's very restricted i'll put in the um uh, description of this video but it just seems that a lot of these videos have to deal with the hood and supernaturalism, which are things that are already prevalent in movies that are not about horror. So it's really not much. And a lot of them were very racist because of the time period that they came in. And I can see why that genre is basically extinct now because there's no way anyone could do that in this day and age and it'd be possible or fruitful. Even though we do have one that's coming out called Get Out and you should go see it because that's gonna be an amazing horror movie and I can't wait to see that movie. Yup. Yup. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my little, like, research for black people horror movies and it made any sense to you. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. But question, what do you guys think about the list? Check the link in the description so you can tell me what you think. Uh, just reading the little... Um, synopsises of the synopsis -ize? synopsises I'm not sure of the movies so I can know what you guys are thinking I'd love to hear what you have to say so yeah guys I'm Vandal don't forget to give it 365 and I'll talk to you next time with another video peace boy giving glory to a person who has supposedly discovered a place when they've actually done nothing and contributed absolutely nothing to it whatever history may say about it but this glorification of this man giving him this day like he found this place and it